We, I think we even brought a sandwich. <laughs> we brought a sandwich. Hi, everyone. I am here with Andy from Popcorn Planet and Movie World. He, hi, Andy. Hey. <laughs> you were actually the first person to interview me about the Blake Lively disaster interview. I'm honored. When I saw it, I was like, I have to, I have to hear from the source how this all went down. I was so impressed how you handled it. And uh, my audience was so grateful. And I got to say, not to take over, I've, I'm recording this for you. I've been so impressed with everything you've done since. I, I was like, you got to you gotta let other people who've had bad horror junket stories come in and share them with you. Thank you. And the thing is, you kind of inspired me to do that. Because when I was on your show, I felt so much support. And then I read the comments on your uh on your YouTube channel afterwards. And I was like, people are so nice. Uh, I want to start like talking a little bit more about this on my own channel. And so I did. And yeah, so thank you so much for that. You, I owe you big time. No, no worries. <laughs> I'm happy to bring here. I, I, and I brought a story. Do you want me to share my story? <laughs> yes, please. Because now, you have also been in these junket situations. So you kind of felt that you could relate to what was happening to me, right? Yes. Um, and you, how many, have you done a lot of them? Yeah. Well, I used to do a channel called screen junkies, uh, created a show called honest trailers, movie fights. Most movie fans know that a lot of movie fans don't know the truth about what happened to me there. And you can learn all about that on popcorn planet. There was a, not the best exit. That's how I'll say it. It was not, not the best of terms. Uh, but I, I look back on the, that work a lot and I had so many amazing experiences and because of honest trailers, which became this big monster hit that I'm super proud of. I was like, we should do, try to take that energy into the junket space and do like honest interviews was what my pitch was. And so in doing honest interviews, I got to do, we had a chance to do a bunch of, and we had other people come in, in, in a office too, but the junket experience is such a tense, <laughs> crazy time, especially when yes. it's someone you like. And so that's one of them I brought, which was Keanu Reeves. We were doing John Wick too. We got the the chance to do the whole cast and we went to the, it's always at a, at a hotel, some fancy hotel where they're giving out fancy spreads. And I was a little nervous with Keanu Reeves because I love Keanu Reeves. I didn't want, you know, to find out he's a jerk, right? Which he wasn't, he wasn't. No, uh, he's but sweet. I went in very nervous. But yeah, the whole premise of what we were doing with this honest interview, which I have the clip if you want to play it, uh, was just to sort of ask silly questions, like more try to try to get viral answers and questions <laughs> I feel like based this on didn't the film. Work out well. <laughs> have you done Keanu Reeves? Have you interviewed him? <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Have you interviewed Keanu Reeves? Yeah, yeah, many times. So I know what he's like. He is what I would call, he's a little awkward and very, very shy. And I I don't think doing like fun kind of jigs with him is a very good idea. So I'm sure it you queued up, You queued up my problem. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot, some of it worked. Some of it worked. Now, the, the part that didn't work is it on the show? D didn't make the cut because out of politeness, we didn't have, I wish I had it, but I can show you a little bit about what we did do. And then uh, yeah. I can tell you what didn't make the cut. <laughs> but here it was. Such an honor to meet you, Keanu. Well, thank you, man. Have you, did you ever like interview an actual hitman? Oh my this? God, no, <laughs> no. Put the word on the street. Hey, do you happen to know? I didn't, no, no, he's a, a work of fiction. I think you guys could take Keanu like one-on-one. -on -one. So we asked to go to the other ones. I think for us, guys, it was the director. Your feelings. <laughs> I, I bought that. Yeah. One thing we noticed, well, I'm just curious of your feelings, like why do we care so much for that dog, but not the hundreds of people who are just working a gig at night in a club? <laughs> no, no, and no. Probably have I know, I know. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> And the first one, I let Francis go. You did. You did. Sure. I don't kill people who aren't trying to kill me. So they knew what they were getting into when they were like, protect They're in this the neck. assassin world, <laughs> man. They're trying to kill me. I just want to kill this one kid. <laughs> and they kill the dog. And the dog was innocent. Okay, it's true. Man. You let some people go in too. too. I right, let them go. I do let them go. Like I'm you, not like you've just. Gotta that I'm not crazy. <laughs> So far, though, you're right. He's doing pretty well. He's pretty. I've never seen him that energetic before. You did an amazing job. So the He's pressure's so there. Like... Wow. I actually got to spend like five minutes pretending to be John Wick uh, oh, with, really? with the stunt, stunt team. team yeah. yeah. Oh, you went to 87 yeah. 11? Yeah, it oh, was nice. so nuts. <laughs> that was fun. Cool. That's Bruce. Yeah. 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 So we got to do so that. Kind of more. 
<gasps> Afterwards, like it was really hard to return to like a desk job. This is like kind of more. This is boring. Yeah. So when you're done being, you know, John Wick, is it, do you like get down with the witness in your real life afterwards? No, I can't do that because uh, it's fictional. This can That's be what? fictional. Be real. Because I love Speed, one of my favorites. Did you ever like go on a bus just to freak people out after that movie? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it right after it was released and like just you know like. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Jack. <laughs> now, Ruby, you. He remember anyway. So it's fun, but then it's we we we. Ted, okay. I heard there's a story that you were upset. You got Ted instead of Bill. Why? Well, no, because <laughs> well, Alex and I both went to our costume fittings, wardrobe fittings, thinking we were playing the other character. I wasn't upset. We both kind of took it in stride. We were like, okay. Excellent. Ruby, a lot of people. At do you have any friends who were ever under the influence and then went up to them and said, the Matrix is real? I would no. think that'd be so fun. No, I mean, I have had people come up to me and have that conversation. Real life, who think it's real? Well, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, it's like, it's real adjacent. Whoa. So that's what the architect was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. There it is. So uh, that, pretty well. It did okay, right? What do you think? I think that was actually really good. I'm so impressed because I, I, as I told you, I've met him a few times and he is very shy and awkward and kind of like he, I feel like he's very uncomfortable in those situations. But with you, he was really open and had a lot of energy and was responding so well. So I think this is one of the best interviews I've seen with Keanu Reeves. Wow. Is, yeah. I think well, you have it all wrong. I'm I'm honored. Well, but <laughs> yeah. you you didn't see the part that didn't work. <laughs> no. So, okay. Tell me about the part that didn't work. So, do you know about the sad Keanu meme? Oh yes. So one of the bits we had prepared was we I think we even brought a sandwich. <laughs> we brought a sandwich. And I was like, and I set it up and I'm like, Keanu, we love you. You're not sad. You're amazing. And we thought in order to beat this meme. Let's create some different memes, like a happy oh, Keanu right meme idea. and a, a what? I, like I had it already, and he was so not having it. <laughs> he was oh, just no. like instantly wall went up. Like any little fun we had gathered, it was just gone, and I could just instantly tell. And it, and it was so sad because he wasn't being mean. Like we didn't get in a fight. Like nothing happened. It was more a level of embarrassment because I just felt like oh, I fucked it up. Like I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get him to enjoy, it, and it, it le I could just tell it left this bad taste in his mouth. And then we found out later through the rep, yeah, you can't. You can't put that part. In. <laughs> so oh, I always I... like when I talk about like my worst experience. It wasn't because he was mean. He was great. Like he was super yeah. nice. Super nice to me. The the legend is true about Keanu, at least from my experience. But I was really frustrated because I took a swing, and man, did I miss. Have you ever done that? Have you had a swing at a junket where you're like? Oh, oh why'd I go there? <laughs> if I have, I've done it so many times, you have no idea. I just posted <laughs> a, another video, actually, about me trying to flirt with Ryan Gosling. And that's, I mean, if that's like on a cringe from one to ten, that's about eight. So, yeah, it's, that's what I mean, but you shot your shot. Good for you, man. A lot of people would probably be like, you, you, you got there. <laughs> yeah. I also once tried to sting my questions in an interview. Uh, because it was a musical and I wanted them to sing an answer back, which was a great idea at the time. But uh, I remember Anne Hathaway was not happy about that. And that didn't go so well. I'll talk mm. about that another time. <laughs> that, now we have another chapter to, yeah. yeah. You, when you put them, when you put them on the spot unprepared, sometimes they're either super game or they're not. I did another one. We could, another one we can do in the future. I did a, a similar game with Benedict Cumberbatch, who was super game, like super fun, did all the characters because we were making this bit of like, oh my God, you're the Grinch, you're Doctor Strange now, like you're everybody. And he's like, I didn't mean to do it that way. And I'm like, all right, well, let's, let's pitch some more. And I had him do Mario and Walter White. And we went through this like Willy Wonka. He, and he did them all like in characters that he made. So, you know, sometimes you get a huge massive win like that and it's such an awesome feeling. But then sometimes you tell Keanu Reeves, hey, let's recreate this meme you don't like <laughs> and try to do it. Oh. And I just was so embarrassed. Maybe he never liked that meme in the first place that you hit like a, a spot. Um, because I feel like that meme, it, it kind of, uh, because he, I mean, there, he had so much trauma in his life. 
And maybe that reminds him of all of that. And that's why he didn't want to do it. What kind of sandwich was it? I don't remember. It was a turkey sandwich. I mean, the one we brought for the prop, I'm sure it wasn't the same as... I think he was just feeding these birds. Yeah. I don't With even those know shoes. I've seen those shoes in so many photos. Him and Johnny Depp have just one pair of shoes, I think. Yeah, I can relate. I'm not a big shoe guy. Comfortable <laughs> shoes, wear them over and over again. Who cares? No, but, uh, but I mean... I mean, in general, I think Keanu Reeves is such a sweet guy. And I think that's why everyone loves him. He's just like a regular guy that takes the subway and, you know, he's nice to everyone, give gifts to everyone he works with. And so, but I, but I, I have to say, I, I feel like that's, as I said, one of the best interviews I've seen. So I'm honored. If you like, if you like my work, I have a movie channel that I don't get, I, I try to post on often. Thank you for letting me plug it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me and my wife uh, reviewed a J Lo movie. I forgot we did that oh, back on the cover. Oh, that one. Uh, so <laughs> I, but I, I do. Uh, I mean, you know, the most recent reviews. I try to get in there. Uh, Speak No Evil was really fun. You can check my. It ends with us review. Did a pretty very well for this channel. But Movie World Plus, if you want to see strictly movie content, head over there. Popcorn Planet for all my pop culture news. Honored to be here. I'm oh. grateful for letting me in, and thank you for coming back. We did a Nice follow up on Popcorn Planet. I like the yeah. connected videos. We got to do it again. Yes, we're talking a lot about um, Blake Lively on your channel again. <laughs> People don't get enough of it, and I get it. It's a, uh, it's, it's been a ride, and um, yeah. So thank you for inviting me back to your channel, and thank you so much for being here on mine. I really appreciate it, and I hope we can do more collabs in the future. People who've had bad junkets, hit up Kirsty and let her know. Come on and share your <laughs> yes. stories. Thank you for yeah. having me. Thank you so much, Andy. See you soon.